Welcome again, everybody. This is Rampain, and welcome back to my Knights of St. John campaign for the Zolom Sword of Water mod. We're going to continue we left off from last time. I know it's been a little while. Remember, I'm going to try and make sure that these are uploaded every roughly about two weeks until I get a slot open. But we're going to continue where after uh, reviewing the comments and uh, the premiere uh, chat, uh, there's a few things about this mod that I need to take into consideration. First and foremost, it sounds like every single faction, once you kill them, there's going to be a doomsday that spawned a couple turns afterwards uh, near their capital. So, for the guys that we just killed, that should be... Guzel Hisar? Guzel Hisar? Uh, that was their capital, I believe. And so we'll have to make sure we're careful around this area. Um, another thing that I need to keep in mind is, it seems like this mod sounds like it puts as much emphasis on trade as uh, Broken Crescent does. Um, and so I definitely want to try and get some more merchants at some point. And also, I need to make sure that I try and focus on improving the roads and everything. Because now that I control all these lands, I am making a little bit more. Uh, if it wasn't for construction, I'd be making about 3600 And so, I definitely need to try and... Because, like, do I have any roads available right now? No, anything that increases trade, though, really should help out. Like, the Merchant's Wharf, that should help out. Right now, I'm trying to focus on conversion for a lot of these settlements. Like, here, I'll probably get make sure to get the gravel roads after these Ballista Towers are built up. The uh, Bliss Towers are pretty goddamn expensive, um, and I know I wanted to kind of focus on them initially because I was expecting to be very defensive, but then I decided to just leave everything. And so, let's make sure we're going to continue recruiting a few more guys when we can, because it sounds like we need to make sure that we're going to focus on defending this city from that Doom stack. Another thing that we need to look into is trying to take some of these rubble settlements around here. Um, I know I'm at war with, right now, the Ottomans and the uh, Katamans. And I know the Ketamans, they're kind of over here somewhere. Um, they've got land over here, I don't have to worry about them. And then the Ottomans, I'm hoping I can ignore them for the most part. Because there's some rebel settlements between us, and uh, I've got this castle here that's going to have Ballista Towers. So we'll primarily focus our initial expansion kind of eastward, I'll say. Uh, we want to try and find more of these rebel settlements to take. We'll probably start off with uh, Beskaza. Beskaza? Yeah, Beskaza. We'll focus on taking that one next, and I'll try and, like, once we for sure beat back the Doomstack that spawned here, we're then gonna move out and then try and, like, properly kill these guys off. I don't know if anybody controls this right now. Is this Rebel? That's Rebel. Nicosier would actually be a pretty good place to claim right now. I know this is, this should be, is this Venetian right now? I don't remember if they control the island of Crete right now, but we'll probably want to try and go check out this is a pretty, a pretty beefy fortress, but it looks like it's just rebels. So maybe I could try and lure them out to fight me? That'd be very nice. Um, I do need to make sure that also I'm going to be trying to spread my generals out a little bit more as governors. Um, just to help out. I don't want to have everybody in the same city. I know I was initially doing that just because we were doing some very ballsy plays to expand. And so we'll go along with that. But I'll try and have it so that my... Faction leader is going to be the one kind of leading some of our assaults. You're my heir. But let's... I don't know what that... What's in there? I need more spies, but I can't recruit any right now. I can get more diplomats. But I can't get any more spies right now. For the moment, though, let's see. I could get... I want to keep trying to get as many guys as I can right now. I can get another brother-in-arms and crossbowmen. So we kind of want quantity at the moment, as we are very low on troops. So let's end this turn. Continue going along. And then I don't know how many turns it takes until the Doomsday spawns. I almost prefer it's earlier, uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, if it happens within the next couple turns, it'll be a bit easier for me to just, hey, kill it off, then try and then continue going east. Because we really want to try and make sure we take as many rubble settlements as possible um, before some of the AI does. Because I think at least the Ottomans will be busy with the Romans. And the Ketamans, they seem to be just off on their own on the eastern section of Anatolia. And so I want to make sure I push on them hard. Don't give them a chance to expand a lot. Because these other guys, I was able to blitz because they had two cities. It was really easy to beat their forces down, get in the cities, and kill them off. Um, but the Ketamans, they have more. I know they start out, I think, I think it was they start off like three settlements instead of two. And they've got all that rubble land to expand into. Which, with the AI, sometimes they just get to automatically take a city, even though they never fought for it. Which is, I've always kind of hated that about Medieval 2. And we kind of hope that they don't do that right now. 
Let's see, energy report. Looks like Hungary is the strongest kind of overall, or most concerning to keep track of. So we finally have those bliss towers, we got some farms, we got those guys recruited. Alliance now, Republic of Ragusa. And then, uh, Kenderman doesn't like me as much. No shit. Okay, um, and I was still sending my... Was I sending my diplomat up? I'm gonna try and actually kind of uh, work with the Romans. No, oh man, no. you are a bad diplomat. <laughs> Uh, you are a bad diplomat. That's gonna go this way. Naturally, oh. my lord. Got stuck on the yes, same dude. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can talk to the Byzantines Today's next turn. And ahead. I'm gonna try and work with them. See if I can get them to like me and have it so that I'll help them kind of wrest control of Anatolia and uh, maybe help reclaim some of the lands. But I, I'd rather they like me than get pissy with me. And so we'll try and see what we can do there. You guys here, let's see, what do I need to get a spy? What building is it specifically here? Oh, so it's just gonna be the brothel, okay. We are getting the small church, because that's gonna be a huge issue, is just converting these areas. Okay, so we got that. You guys here, what's the merchant wharf give for income? 43, 48. Uh, technically it doesn't say it's gonna do anything. I kinda hate when it does this. Okay, so I don't know how much that's actually going to improve things. Ooh, salt mine. Increase in trade and in, in income bonus. Let's grab that. Anything that will give just a straight income bonus and a little bit more trade is always a really useful building. So let's grab that. And then, let's see, I need... Ooh, you guys aren't Turkmen bowmen. You guys aren't bad. I know these peasant archers didn't do half bad either, honestly. I might keep me more of them. Let's see, uh, the Patastatai Javelmen. Um, I think these guys aren't too bad. Quality superior, type rural militia, free upkeep and settlements, and reduce morale in the field. Not a bad unit. Okay. Because what I want to do is... Alright, guys. As you wish. Yeah, a little unhappy. A little bit. But let's actually have you grab... That's how much money. We are making... Okay, so roughly we're actually making about 4,500. Okay. So grab that, and then I'll have you recruit... More of the Turkmen Bowmen, or maybe... Like, these these guys weren't bad, but then again, they were under the command of my fa my uh, Grand Marshal, which is uh, one badass of a dude right now. Although, actually, these guys aren't bad. Uh, they're actually very similar. Oh, no, they're basically the same thing, just different cultures. Okay, so those are pretty simple units. I can only get one of you. Um... I'll get you, technically, first. Okay. Well, let's have you guys group up with my Grand Marshal. Grand Master. Have you focus on sitting here for just a little bit and uh, waiting for whatever this... Like, I know it's coming. I know they're coming, and they're going to have some sort of a doom stack. In the meantime, I'm going to try and have it so that you uh, keep putting more watchtowers up As around my land so I can see. Oh, hi. The troops from enemy eyes, Am I that close to uh, the Wait. Romans? Huh. I know there's a city there. Okay. Well, let's see. Of course, you can't get anything right now. That's fine. There we go. I need to take these guys out of here because right now they're actually wasting yes. quite a bit. Um, I think what I need to do is after this, I'm going to build a town watch here and then just give you guys some basic infantry, uh, these guys, to be free upkeep to help keep Millis happy. And then I can send all of these guys up into my army up here. That should do really well and should give us a much better chance of trying to beat back that Doomstack. So, so far it's been one turn. I don't know, again, I don't know how long until it's supposed to happen. Like, is it five turns? Is it two turns? Is it three turns? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, because I don't really want to move out of that city until we know when it's spawned. I'm hoping this isn't going to, like, make me freeze up and not do anything. Because uh, we really do, we can't sit here. I need to keep expanding a little bit more now that I've got uh, some money, and I've got some troops I can recruit, and I can't let my enemies get ahead of me. So hurry up and spawn this goddamn Doomstack, guys, please. Please do so. Because I'm kind of just sitting here uh, waiting anxiously for what to happen. I can at least build up my settlements and keep recruiting more dudes. And make it a little bit better for us. Hi, Republic of Genoa. What would you guys like to discuss? I'd hope trade. I want more trade. 
Nothing. Okay. Because I can talk to the Byzantines next turn, kind of check out what's going on with them, and see, hey, can we get some trade? Can we start having some good relations? Geoffrey de l'Isle Adam? No going to battle. I do like these new... Uh, oh. Food and play. These new portraits. Oh, shit. Our friends in Italy are not doing so good. Not good at all. Okay. You guys here, get the town watch so that we can at least get some free upkeep units around here. Do get a priest so we can start converting these areas a little bit faster. Um, let's see. You guys... It's still doing that. Still hasn't properly updated everything, so I don't know what you're actually going to be making. Uh, I'm going to get a fossil, though. Uh, I'll do that for now. I need to get a spy and uh, start walking about trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. Um, otherwise, let's see. Uh, Coast can get something. You guys... Um, Grain Exchange. And get a better port. I don't know why those are continuously flashing. I know it takes a couple turns for them to properly get implemented, but I don't know how long it's going to properly take. Um, in the meantime, though, I think at least maybe just get grain exchange. Or is that like just kind of telling me like what I could build right now? No. Maybe? I don't know. It's weird. Because uh, otherwise I could get the Lord's Estate, get that. They are decently happy here. Let's grab that for now, because that I know how much it's going to explicitly give me in uh, income. Although I really should properly get this small chapel at some point. I'll do that after this, because this at least is going to just give us a little bit more public order, or more food production, roost training costs. And see, this building is allowed a, or allows us to build a feudal barracks to be constructed in the settlement. And allows a governor to claim the minor title in this settlement. Okay, I don't have a governor in there right now, but... We're going to be bringing you back around we once I have you build another watchtower. By your so wit. let's grab one right here. The enemy wow, there's a city it. right there. We okay, um, well then. And that's we about all the land I actually control. So I specifically can't do much more than that. Let's bring you back we over this way. Get another watchtower. And what kind of mercenaries can you get? Ooh, actually, quite a few. So we've got some Turkmen tribal horsemen, Salem cavalry. Some Martellux Axemen and Turkmen Axemen. Okay. Not gonna grab those guys for now. I'm gonna bring you back as to coast. I'll uh, bring you, have you be that Our governor. Unless I've somewhere. got somebody else that's nearby. I've got you. I can leave you in this city when my faction leader leaves. So we can try and do that. You guys, let me get some more of these Turkmen bowmen. And then these guys are slightly better. They cost about twice as much. Quality militia, peasant militia, a little bit better. So I'll grab some more of you guys. This unit, actually I would rather, well, yeah, this guy's free, I'll keep all leaving. Send more men to here, because I know we've got a doomsday coming here. And then roads, oh fuck, I didn't build anything here. Well, we can get something next turn. And turn reports, faction announcements. <laughs> He's crew leader. Our Grand Master's one tough son of a bitch, I guess. Okay, got that. And then Pedro feels appreciated. Good. We want you to feel appreciated, man. Oh, wait. That decreased, didn't it? Fuck. <laughs> Wrong thing. We don't want that. You're doing some fine quality work, man. You're a glorified watchtower builder. It's important work. Somebody needs to do it. Is there something I can do for and then... Oh, I almost forgot about these guys. Um, okay. So we want to try and talk to you guys. Let's offer trade. Right now, reasonable with you, reputation, power. I'm capable. You guys are superior. Okay, well, let's see if you want to trade. Let's start with that I first. See no problem here. Okay. It is agreed. Good. Another proposition. Alliance? It's balanced. Shall listen, of course. Oh. It's Aha! We've reached an agreement. Okay. Good. So we have formalized an alliance with the Byzantine Empire. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to ask Excellent. for that information from what you guys right you now. Suggest? I don't think you guys will accept that. Oh, no, they will. Oh, shit. I see no problem here. Damn, okay. Uh, Something just military access? We cannot quite okay. accept. That was going a little too far. You but now we at least reasonable. know where their lands are and what they know of. So that's something. Okay. 
Um, I'll probably, let's see, um, where do I want to send that guy next? Because we want to try and keep getting more trade and more map information from factions. I think let's try and go towards Italy and try and talk to some of them. Maybe try and find where the hell Hungary is and talk to some of their people. Try and get some trade with them. We're going to try and work with the Romans. That's going to be one thing for sure. We're going to try and work with them a little bit. Try and at least secure Anatolia. Work with them to do that. Um, and I guess... Okay, because I, I did remember that in the comments it was talked about that right now they're actually currently going through a civil war. I didn't, I wasn't even paying attention to that. I didn't realize they were uh, initially. But it looks like the rebels are actually the ones that are... No, I, I don't know if they're the rebels. I don't know what side's what. But uh, the uh, unofficial ones are the ones next to me. So this little spot right here. Because what is the fact of that faction? It's definitely not you guys. Is the uh, Kanta? Oh god, Kanta Kuzen. Oh my god, Anthony's gonna hate this. <sighs> Kanta Ku. Oh my god, Kanta Kuzenoi. Kanta Kuzenoi. Kanta Kuzenoi. Is that right? Okay, because right now they are allied with Ragusa and the Ottomans, and they're at war with Serbia, Bulgaria, and the Roman Empire. You guys, I don't like. You guys I like. So I'm gonna work with you. So at some point, I'm gonna wanna conquer this city. I'm just debating whether or not I wanna wait until I've conquered more of the rebel settlements around here, or straight up start that war with you. You are neutral right now, so maybe I should wait. So you guys will like me a little bit more. That's good, that's good. There we go, we got those salt mines. Oh, hi there, Genoa. Can you not? Now let's see, you guys. I do need more cavalry. My cavalry is pretty beat up. Um, let's put you and you. And then you guys. Actually, let's not forget about roads. Roads can get stuff. Um, let's see. Again, it doesn't properly tell me how much money that's actually going to get me. Okay. Well, I can get that. Uh, okay, do you guys have the... No, you don't. <laughs> um, let's get the wor Merchant's Wharf. Get that. And then Smyrna. I could get a gunsmith. Can we actually, like... What kind of gun units do I have access to? I'll probably get the chapel for now for you guys, because you don't have one. Because, let's look, gunsmith. So for here, requires all that, capable of a mortar. So I can get a mortar. That's one thing. Alrighty then. Okay, so for people that are wondering if the game occasionally crashes. Uh, yes, it does so far, it seems like for me. It's the first crash I've experienced with this mod now. It, I guess it's with certain descriptions. So we're gonna hope it doesn't happen too often. I am still curious. What kind of guns I can get so we know we can get a mortar. Let's look at the smith, uh, not the smiths. Uh, siege, cannons, mercenary barracks, feudal barracks. Uh, I don't know if there's, it's tied to a specific building besides just a normal barracks. Uh, let's see what the mercenary barracks has. Because there's a lot of stuff in this. I don't know if this is basically what caused the crash. It doesn't look like there's any guns in there. I doubt there'd be guns in a feudal barracks, but I'm still going to check it. Because I'm assuming we only have access to the um, mortars. I don't think there's going to be anything specifically like we have riflemen in this uh, army. I don't expect that from these guys. It would be kind of funny if we did. But let's see. I need to now just make sure I move about my... Where did my diplomat go? Diplomat's up here. Because I want to keep talking. I'm going to talk to you guys. I just want to get map information yes, from you and kind of know what's going on because i think you guys actually have more land than the roman empire because the roman empire is just these guys they've got constantinople they've got a bit of other stuff how do those two compare against each other actually oh overall they're like neck and neck military territorial production that's territorial territorial there we go so territorial they took one from each other, so you guys, the Romans, actually took more land from them. Okay, so you guys do start off a little bit stronger. Okay. I'm going to be rooting for the Romans, though. I'm going to be rooting for them and trying to work with them. Financially, they're kind of eh, all over the place, but they are making more money. We have population. Okay. I'll be rooting for you guys and hoping that you win that battle. Still don't know where the hell this Doomstack is, but sooner or later I'm going to have to leave this city anyways. Because we can't just sit around here forever. Also, uh, how much is it going to cost for a train you? Because I might bring you back here. Oh, you. 
you two and have so you guys try and retrain here before we leave. Cost retrain, no more units of that type retrainable. Damn it. And then I can't recruit these guys here? Oh no, I can't. Okay, well, I'll try and bring you back down here. I'm pretty sure I can recruit those guys here. Yes, I can. So I can. Oh, actually, I can send them both that way. I can try and retrain you both there. And then bring you back. Up. So let's do that. Still no doomstack. It's another earthquake? Holy shit. Okay, well, that sucks. I'm glad I'm not over there. Let's see. The Halchian, uh, Vunia, Wars. Oh, the destruction of Principality of all the. I love the Wains are defeating the battle of the Struggle. Advantage of the region. Fulshan has now arrived in the region and are threatened city and surrounding areas. Ooh. Ho ho! There's a lot of stuff going on. I like that. I like how many custom scripts there are. I really do. Okay, so you guys finally finished uh, the Lord of States and Costs, and we finished the brothel there so we can get a spy now, finally. Let's see. Yep, you guys don't like me. Cardinal dies. Papal States. Papal States. Okay, yeah, I'm not surprised with the earthquakes going on. Ooh, I could. I'm not at war with you guys, but like... I could try and kill you. Oh, I'm tempted. I'm very tempted. Okay, merge some of my guys together. I am gonna bring you two down here, and I'm gonna retrain you guys. You guys now immediately get me a spy. And then, um... Maybe infantry. I'm gonna get one of these guys, but you guys, now that you've finished that, um, let us get more of the merchant's walls. Gonna continue trying to improve our economy through trade as much as possible. Um, get this small chapel since we now don't have it. Grab that. And then how many free upkeep units can you have? Just one? I think it's just one at the moment. Yeah, no, because these don't add to it. So we only have one free upkeep unit here. Don't know what's going on with Genoa. Uh, you guys are going to chill here at least a little bit until we're prepared to move out. If you guys are ever standing next to this city, and I could lure you out, I'm attacking this city. I'm going to. It might piss off a Rome that I maybe shouldn't piss off now. Might be kicking a bee's nest. But it's a way we could, we could start a war. Because what I'm thinking I'm going to be doing over here, um, these have a fairly large garrison, but I have an idea. So we're going to do because I've got a pretty elite army here. And I have a bunch of generic town watch and things like that. What I can try and do, because I think this will work the way I'm hoping, is I can do a uh, N-turn at sieging a settlement with a small army, and my other guys are right next to them, not sieging the city. They'll uh, try and sally out against the small army, bring in the big army, they'll be trying to attack me, and then I can just try and kill them from outside the gates. That's kind of my hope. Um, let's see, you guys, let's try and talk to you. Um, oh, this is one of the cities you took. Oh, okay. I thought that was controlled by them. Never mind. Okay, so let's keep going around actually towards Greece then. Because if you guys control that... Oh, kind of go this way. Stop being stuck. Okay, so that's the city they took from them then. Okay. I see. But yeah, no, we'll have to see whether or not my plan is going to work the way I'm expecting it to. And then also, uh, you have one more turn until this is done. You can have up to just one free upkeep unit. No, nope, uh, two free upkeep units. So then I can have at least uh, this bowman here and then a infantry unit. And then I can give you guys over to my main army. And then we'll start advancing over this way. Because right now, I need to keep an eye on... I'm not going to worry about the roams right now. I need to worry about uh, you. Overall, territorial, they haven't grown yet. Good. I need to make sure they don't grow just yet. Because I need to uh, take this city as soon as possible and kind of keep pushing this way. Maybe I should try and make sure I take Nicosia, because that would be a way for me to have a way to reinforce um, this area when I start fighting them proper. Because there's a lot of mountains around here, and let's see, I know there's at least another rebel settlement here um, that's not being besieged. Good, that's still rebel. That's about as much as I've been able to explore. But next turn, I'll have a spy that can start walking over that way and try and see what's going on. Because I'm worried about those guys. The Ottomans, I'm not too worried about right now. I think we'll be fine. They're not going to be too much of an issue for a while. Um, the other guys, though, they have room to expand. That's more concerning, whereas the Ottomans are actively struggling with the Romans. And there are a couple rebel rebels around them. But... 
at least with uh, Manasa, I can watch over that one and see if they take it. If they take it, then I'm going to want to try and get rid of that. Also, I probably should get rid of these rebel armies that are just sitting about. I don't like that one sitting over there by where my watchtower. He's kind of in the way if I want to go attack them over there. Also, I really need to make sure I have a good arm. Uh, General, well, you better not attack me. I don't like how you're standing there. Fuck. Hi, Genoa. <sighs> okay, then. The enemy lay siege. I have the shall not fall. decent units in there. I've got my Ballista Towers. I'm debating on whether or not I want to try and bring over my full stack from my uh, Grandmaster. Or try and see if I can just defend it. Because <sighs> we could just try and defend it. Send the besieged Smyrna by the Republic of Genoa. You fucking assholes. Let's see. Report. War. Yup. Relations worsened. No shit. Because in here... I've got some decent units in here. I got a pretty good force. Uh, they have... It's hard to tell. Yo, Mr. Spy. No more words. Draw your sword. And this is a citadel. That's gonna be multiple layers. It might be a really stupid plan, Ready, but softly, honestly, softly. I'm tempted to just let them assault it. I don't know how powerful the ballista towers are, but this is a citadel. That should at least have two layers. At least two. Um, let me just look at its size. Yeah, no, it's got to at least have two layers at that point. I think it maybe only has up to the two layers. If it has two layers, I think we're good. So they've got some pretty weak units. Was that a lot attack? of cav. My army in here. Are... Yeah, you know what? I think we're fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it. I'm going to hope this decision doesn't haunt me. But I do have Ballista Towers in here. This is going to be a great way to test out their defenses and see how well they operate. Because if, hey, if they can destroy every single ram and the Siege Tower before they can even get through the first layer, because I know there's at least two. There has to be, with it being a Citadel. They can't win. They cannot win that battle, and we'll be able to hold Smyrna. And then, come on, please, I want you guys to... I am friend, on. I, I'm honestly so tempted to attack them. So fucking tempted. All this? I do want to make sure you guys... Let me try and... Yeah, I'm going to try and see if I can retrain you guys this turn. Maybe pick you up with my ships, and then you'll be able to be dropped off in one turn. Because, let's see, can you be dropped off? Yes, you can. Ah, oh, you can't, actually. Damn it. Well, the knights can. Okay, so I can retrain one of them. Can't retrain them both, which is a shame. You can at least retrain that guy there. Perfect. And then, let's see, what do we have uh, in this army? So right now, this army, basically what we'll be doing is I'll be leaving behind you, 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 and you. Move out. Everybody else. Marching. City's just happy. Good. Um, and then you can watch over this place. Uh, give me another spy, please. And then actually another priest. I'll focus on converting this area for now. Oh, wow, this is so slow. That is obscenely slow. Still at 6%. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, let's see. You guys here uh, get... Does it really matter which one I use? Bonus fighting cavalry, bonus combat in woods. And these guys don't have that bonus combat in woods. Okay. Um, I'll probably just get the... the cost is the same. Look, they're just the same unit. This one has one more dude. These are technically a rural militia, and these are a rural levy. Okay, well, no, we'll get these guys. Uh, that'll be a... F should be a free upkeep unit here soon. And then I can give you two oh, off to this guy. We That's looking like a good armies. force. That is definitely a good force. So, I think what we'll do... I really want to attack this city. This would make a lot of money. But I also pissed them off. Like, could I lure you guys out? I'm almost tempted to check. Like, maybe we'll be able to. Maybe we won't. Where shall we strike? If anything, I kind of... Let's let's try and take uh, Beskaza first. 
bring you back down this way because uh, I want to grab these units that I'm retraining I'll try and take this first and then we'll try and see if those guys will be uh, accessible at some point. You guys um, also maybe get the brothel. I need more spies, just in general. So I can have it so... Wherever the hell it went. Did I move you? No, I didn't move you Master. afterwards. Because I want you to kind of... You kind of explore up here. On my way. You kind of go up there. I'll today. have uh, these guys... The other spy go this way and kind of explore more of that land. Let's keep an eye on you guys. Still haven't grown. That's good. Also, how strong is Genoa? Okay, oh, Genoa's not that much stronger than me. Okay, they've got one more settlement than me. They're at six. I don't know where any of their lands are besides they control stuff up here. <laughs> That's about all I know is, like, they control some stuff there. I think... I'll, I'll, I'm gonna bring my spy over so here and see if they control this. That's the only explanation is why this army's here. So if they do, then I could push them back after... Because, okay... I see one of two things. <sighs> I wanted to focus on rebels on the east, but now General's making me feel like I need to focus on the west. I'm going to wait the turn or two. It's going to take two turns. One turn after this guy and then get these guys. Or train them. Then this army is going to be ready. You're going to have a full stack. I can give you some more dudes here. Probably some more cavalry, maybe. Okay, so it's now been five turns and still nothing happened. Oh, you guys are a little pissed. I should make sure I lower the tax rate. You guys are fine last turn. Let's lower the tax rate for now. Because uh, I'm wondering if it's maybe tied to the public order and that you guys were okay enough that it hasn't spawned anything. Maybe. I don't know. Ready to say. Um, but let's just have it. So you move over here. That's it. Drop this dude off because I'm still trying to retrain these the guys. Scale. So More that. Walk. Let's retrain him. Uh, might as well retrain the ship too. And then let's get one more knight. Actually, what's the difference between the Frankish and the Hospitaller Knights? Um, the Hospitaller Knights are a little bit better. Wait, whoa, these guys are a hell of a lot more expensive. Defense is lower. Attack slightly lower. Huh. I'm assuming that's supposed to represent the whole fact that they are of a, a different nation. Yeah, wow, yeah, look, look at the dismounted Frankish Knights are a hell of a lot more expensive than mine. Huh. Okay, I didn't notice that originally, that there was that huge cost disparency. Uh, so we'll get the more Hospitaller Knights here. So we'll at least have another cab unit. And then... And ooh, stop tempting me, you fuckers. And Genoa... Oh, you guys actually pulled away. Um, we will see you I don't undone. like that you guys are going this way. I don't at all. Master. So ooh. That place has no garrison. Also, discreetly, senor. that is controlled by Genoa. Okay, so change of plans. Oh, you guys also moved dudes out here, too. Oh, okay, so now that we're having all the rebel armies walk about. Okay, so change of plans, I think. So, let's see, countermen. Just want to make sure you guys haven't taken another city. Nope, still haven't. Okay, so what I think we're going to do senor. is you also. I'm going to get rid of this dude. Because I can just get a new one. Fresh one there. What I'm going to have you do is I think we should kill this Genoa army, Genoese army, and keep advancing onto their castle. It's very weak. Also, this place is really weak, and I could take that. So I do want to kind of expand over here at some point, but I think for now, Wait. actually, our best chances of expanding easily are going Where after Genoa. Strike? So let's move you right here. Marching. Now you guys gonna run? No, you're not. Okay, then let's bring in some reinforcements. Everybody, but you, um, General Two, uh, go back here. As you wish. Surround him. We march yeah. On our and then I can get one more mercenary unit. Perfect. Yes, yes, General. You do not like me. I don't give a shit. So let's take you out here because I think we can easily kill you off and then we'll just keep advancing and try and uh, take their castle. They attacked me. I see no reason why not to retaliate. You guys here, um, let's see, some okay infantry. Peasant archers. They have some militia here. Okay. Can form spear wall, javelin cav. Okay, okay. Not the best, not the worst. Two generals, what's your fan? Oh, you're... Oh, Genoese double guard. Dude, you're a god. You guys are melee infantry as your bodyguard. 
Oh, that's gonna... <laughs> You're not gonna like me because I have more cab than you, more heavy cab than you. Okay, uh, you guys, I'm gonna control you myself. Seeing as how you're coming in right from behind the enemy, we should be able to easily kill you guys and keep advancing and take a new castle. And then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna try and do is get, um, since I'm now recruiting spies, I'm gonna put them into that uh, city north of Smyrna and uh, try and open that up at some point. Basically, I want to kind of fortify this area, take two settlements more up here, and then we can actually try and expand eastward like I want to, because I want to go east. Eastward, I think, will be a bit better, because I can't let that other faction just keep growing. I can't. Skirmishers here, uh, I don't have many. So I'm going to kind of go, um, my reinforcements will be right from behind them. I kind of want to be over here, kind of go up and around, let my reinforcements maybe come from because if they'll be kind of right behind them I can have them kind of march up this way and kind of push the enemy to being right down in this little valley and then I can just surround them and kill them all. I think that will work out really well so let's try and move my infantry and everybody else over here. I don't have that much cavalry in this army. I have a little bit more in the other one. I have some horse archers at least. And then I'll oh, you guys up here. Okay. There we go. There's all my infantry, you guys kind of chill there, and then cavalry there, and wait, who are you? Oh, I didn't grab you actually. There we go. I'll just you guys in a second, we're just trying to start on top of the hill. So we have some rain. Uh, we have my skirmishers reinforced us initially. Not the units I specifically wanted as uh, my reinforcements, I wanted some of the cav from that army first. But you guys kind of go around this way, you guys go right here. And let's see what I can do with you. How much harassing can I do? And I'm actually going to have you put on the circle and shoot. Because, let's see, what is this unit right here? This unit right here. That's just a normal axe unit. Those are just weak axemen. So this is an infantry unit here, at least. So I have two crossbowmen and an infantry unit waiting on the other crossbow to get in here. Uh, I, damn it, you're gonna have the cavalry reinforce last. Damn it, guys! Okay, but again, try and advance up here. You guys just harass them as much as you can. Kind of go, like, back here. And just try and get some free shots. Although, I'd prefer maybe you kind of focus down their skirmishers. Kind of do that. And you guys should start doing the action. Because I think, if I remember correctly, I have to turn this on. There you go. Turn it on, tell you to attack somebody, and then you'll actually use it. And then just try and kill those skirmishers. Try and do as much damage as you guys can to them. Run away. Infantry. You guys rush into position, please. You guys too. Infantry, I need you guys to have guard position on. Everybody quickly into position. Mounted archers. Can't stay over here. Focus on their skirmishers. And as soon as, as... Some of you guys are actually in position. Run at their archers. Same with you guys, too. Like, I want to hold this position, but I might as well also charge at them. At the Try and just push them back a little bit. Okay, you guys are now on the map. Let's move up. And basically, we want to take the hill right here. Let's have you rush into position. I'm a little worried about you guys not being able to get there in time. Okay, pull back. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Cavalry, let's kind of bring you around the other side over here. Let them get in the melee with my guys. And then I can try and hammer and ample strike them. Let's see, number wise, two to three. Not the best. I think it's because they've got quite a few horse archers, and that's the main issue. Oh, that's not going to be a good charge for us. And it is skirmisher cast, so it's not going to be the best charge. Oh, they slaughtered this light infantry unit. The dism dismounted Hospitaller Knights, those guys took that charge pretty nice. Thank you for doing that. So you keep sh uh, shooting these guys. Cav, um... I don't need you help out on this side. Go over here. These guys aren't doing much to us over here, so we're gonna adjust you guys, and I'll start trying to flank you. Because you guys feel like you're losing this slightly, but I just need to bring some reinforcements to help flank this the guy a little bit. very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will yeah, be keep ours! Yeah, focus on them. You guys, I'm going to get you into melee with them. Oh, what's that unit? That is a light machine. You guys back away. This is just a nice unit. Want to run around there? 
run around behind him. And then I'll flank this guy. You guys in position yet? Oh, you're being charged by somebody. Okay, since you're kind of a melee unit, stop running and shoot him. Because that is actually a melee cab unit, so you guys try and... Okay, you focus... Uh, you get his attention. Focus this light infantry unit here. You guys move up. And keep focusing on their skirmishers. There we go, Grand Basto. And you guys start trying to rush in here. Same with you. Uh, ooh, that's a heavy infantry unit. Oh, that's the general there. Okay, well, let's make sure we flank him. Uh, it's a better unit than ours, but I have the numbers on our side here. We might be able to flank them. Otherwise, I need to get my generals over here. Okay, how are you guys doing? Spearman. Get a charge over here. That's another one of the generals. Try and get a good charge on these guys. Oh, yeah. That's a good hit. Okay, I'm just gonna get you out of there for a second. Let me check on these guys. Uh, that unit got its ass kicked. There is a skirmisher unit here, though, that is trying to fight us. Okay. Cav, I need you to run out of there. You help out. You guys kind of run over here and flank that unit. Like this, See, 14 to 40. Ooh, that's good. That's really nice. They do have their core soldiers over there. Can... Yeah, now focus this unit down first. Focus them down. You guys are not doing anything. Then you charge this unit. Now that's shaken. You guys help out here. You guys are doing really well against this unit here. Even though you're a pretty basic unit. Yep, there we go. It's broken. So chase this unit down, and then let's finish off what they've got here. And then I'll finish off this unit, because this unit's losing right now on its own. Um, they are advancing hard on those guys. But if we can kill their general, which one of them's running, we can capture and kill. The rest of their guys should be pretty easy to take out. You guys, um... Focus those guys. General, what are you guys doing? Yep, run them all down. There you go. I'm going to have you continue running them down. My general, I'm going to have him focus on helping out against this other general of theirs. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm going to have him go run this guy down. You get everybody over here, because what are we at right now? Uh, 17 to 67. Not bad. Let's go around here. Although, actually, there's no good place for me to charge them, actually. I'm going to tell you guys all to help fight this unit. My general should be... Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. There's one. I don't know if that was the main general or the supporting general. But let's see. I'm gonna have my general and Cav help out over here. Try and flank this unit. So my infantry have got that. Skirmishers are trying to deal with this. Uh, you wanna get over here? Please break before you get to me. These are some crossbows. Going well so far. Thank you for not putting your shields up. Yeah, you need to the enemy general run away. Like the coward he is. Yeah, you try and get in there and stop them. And break the spirit run, of his army. run, 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 run. I know sometimes you guys are idiots if I don't turn off fire at will when I'm trying to tell you to run. Okay, you... Oh, let's just do that immediately. Okay, run over here. And then I'll have it so you just return fire on that unit. Have we not captured that guy yet? The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Like where? I, he, it says he's around here. Oh, no, that's an axeman. Oh, there he is. Do not let him get away. Yeah, you guys focus this unit down. Man, this is a piss poor defense by the Genoese. <laughs> oh man, I love it. I'm gonna be able to easily take their castle. That's gonna be great. Absolutely great. Yeah, run him down. Come on, where'd he go? The enemy there we go. Our men have captured the enemy general. There. I Guard captured both, well didn't I? Make it so he can see I captured both their the generals. The oh man, that's gotta suck for them. Okay. Let's have you guys 
start getting in position to try and run them down. Infantry, readjust. Skirmishers as well, right here. Because these guys should now easily break now that their generals are dead. Or, are captured at least. Let's just go around the sides and flank this unit, and they should break pretty easily. Right. Okay. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain, the enemy flees the battle. <sighs> Run down. Need to get to the magic eighty five, then, guys. Man, we destroyed the Genoese here. I lost nineteen percent of my forces. A little bit more than I would have liked. It's mainly because of their skirmishers. I didn't have a, a lot of skirmishers initially, but these crossbowmen did really well. Like, these three units diverted so many of their men away from us. There we go. That's good enough. This is an act heroic, which ah. only belongs to men of great virtue. So I captured both of them. So, I'll try and... I could try and ransom them, I guess. Try and be nice to the other Christian factions for their insolence. Or I could execute them. I don't know. Let's, we'll see how much they're worth. I do need money. I do need a lot of money, so maybe I will try and do that. But straight up executing them wouldn't be bad. Let's see, twelve hundred each. Ah, <sighs> five thousand. Would you guys actually accept this? It's a lot of money, actually. I'll try. Rejected. Alrighty, get the same outcome either way. Okay, well, you guys. Go back into Smyrna. Watch over that. I'll be sending you guys... Oh, I'm gonna take this. There's only three of them in there. So we'll be going after that next turn. You can't get in here right now, can you? In no, you can't. Damn. Okay. Well, you can do that next turn. And I'll keep putting the pressure on to the Genoese. We'll come back for this area later. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you up here. We should just get hoping that that Doomstack doesn't come. If it does, I've got this guy right nearby. But, like, I really hope they don't. Crate decreased? What? Grandmaster Hellion. Oh, what the hell? He won! This man's recent defeat has reduced the sense of his command. He won that battle! Said, yeah. Enemy army routes, what the hell are you on about? These feels appreciated, but... Okay. Yeah, Gen 1 does not like us. Also, this guy does have a lot of dread. I might just have him keep conquering. Ooh, he's 80. Oh, he's not gonna survive long, is he? You're 45. You're decent. You'll be coming of age soon, and hopefully you'll do us proud. Oh, wow. This is literally going up like 1% per. Master. Okay, well, I'm going to have you again. We need to start trying to explore over here. Oh, there's another city. Are they now just starting to bring all the rebel armies out? Oh, it's going to make it so much easier to attack these. Especially if I have spies, I can just walk in, put one dude. Uh, if they just have the one dude. Uh, let's hope it keeps up like that. Now the question is, am I going to be able to get into these gates? 46% chance. Can you open the gates for us, my man? If you can, that'd be amazing. Oh. Is he going to get in? Why are you walking towards him? Okay, he's going to get in. Okay, so he's in. Question R, are, are the gates open? 32% chance. Where shall we strike? And then you technically can't get over there. One last you can't. And all there. Come on, please have the gates open. Oh, yes! Fix them, Fuck yeah! They have no we get fight. to kick Genoa See while they're down. Oh, yes. We, okay. We shall them. They don't get uh, any garrison scripts. That's amazing. Okay, let's go in here. Let's take them out. We, push these bastards back. So they've got fast. crossmen, generic spearmen, and decent spearmen. Okay. So let's march our way in here. I got I gotta love our Grandmaster. Grandmaster Hellion the Conqueror. It's a complete Once badass right now. So we can push these guys back. Have some more land and weaken the Genoese. Hopefully they'll fuck off. Maybe I should Oh, I forgot about my diplomat. <laughs> Maybe I should probably have my diplomat go try and talk to them and say, hey. Give me a peace, guys. We don't need to fight here. We don't. I tried to give you your men back. You just didn't pay me. Let's see. Start deployment, and then let's see. So since we've got the gates open, I'm not going to advance just from this one position. Um, I'll have it so that some of my guys go in around the other side. So I'll take my maybe my calf. Let's take my calf, calf, and uh, you guys. Some of my lighter infantry around the back. 
try and do that. Actually, Horse Archer's over here, too. Okay, so you guys over here. Everybody else will be on the other side. And so far, they're ignoring us. Let's go up here. Rush in this way. You guys are probably going to run to the city center. Yes, you are. So far, you are. What are you doing? We have captured the enemy's walls. Okay, you guys, though. They're not going towards the city center. Huh. Um. Okay. You guys try and run over that way. You guys, are they actually only trying to attack me here? Oh, they are. Oh, guys, why are you doing this? You guys keep running this way. Um, you guys try and distract me. Yeah, you just stand there. Cavalry. Oh my god, why are you guys doing this? Oh, guys. Guys. Genoa, why? The battle this is... is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. They're going to make this so easy for me because th these guys are already shaken. Yeah, they're already broken. Okay, pull back away. And then you guys... Fight these guys. Hey, Cav. Where's the skirmishers? Oh, right there. Yeah. You guys might not be the best. Oh, you're actually shooting my infantry. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. You guys want to help us out against this unit since none of them went to the city center. I, it, it's, I'm glad that they did something different. Usually the AI would just run back to the city center and sit there. This is more unique. It's making it so it's really fucking easy on me. Really easy on me. Um, but man, is it kind of sad that like, I'm gonna take minimal damage for this, honestly, in comparison to like, what this usually would take. They probably make me normally take maybe like 15% of my men as casualties if they just sat there in the city center. And now, like these these skirmishers are actually holding decently well, but for the most part, we we're capturing the city center, slowly killing them off, and we're just gonna f have this city because I'm gonna recover a decent amount of my guys. They're still trying to shoot my other guys, which is interesting. That's how are these guys holding up right here? Are you guys are still winning that. Are they going to die, or are they going to give me the city center? One of the two is going to happen first, I just don't know which. At this rate, uh, I think they're probably all going to die. Yeah. You guys are actually taking a lot of damage from this one crossbow unit. Like, this is a decent unit. This is a decent unit. It's just continuously shooting me point-blank range. Like, that's what it should be trying to do. Some of them... Oh, look at this guy just go. Just hacking away. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, there we go. Now he's dead. Okay, 4% more. I'm glad you guys at least didn't give up without a fight. Like, you tried. You tried. We must all of Christendom Plus 135 guys, 10% of my forces. Actually, maybe that would have been what it was before if they would have just actually gotten to the city center. But no, I recovered... Uh, how many guys? Um, Not many, really. Some of my crosswomen recovered some, as an archer did. Oh, my ca uh, cab did so, though, sadly. That's fine. We've at least now taken this castle, and I'm going to continue trying to get more spines. And, again, if we can just keep marching into these cities that are rebel cities that are around me that have, like, one dude each, I can just rapidly expand. Very rapidly expand. And at least now I've got this. So this is another castle. Nothing so, ooh. In our way. We have crashed the defending a lot of money. We will sack. Oh, would you look at that. That is beautiful. So get the local assembly and start building things up around here. Alrighty. I think this is actually going to be probably a pretty good place to end this video. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, maybe like, comment, and or subscribe. If you guys did not, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also check out my Discord, it's a great way to interact with the rest of my community and get updates on videos. Additionally, there are plenty of other ways you can teach for my channel in the description, so you can check that out. This is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.